In the beginning, God made heaven and earth. At first it was empty and dark, but God gathered up the light and called it day. Then he gathered up the darkness and called it night. God was watching over everything. What do you think God did next? On day two, God divided the air from the water. He put some water above the air and some below it. He named the air sky. The next day, God made something many children like, especially in the summer. Can you guess what it is? On day three, God was busy. He made puddles and oceans and lakes and waterfalls and rivers. He made the dry ground too. Next, he made plants. He made so many different kinds of trees, flowers, and bushes that no one could count them all. God said his work was good. Wow, God made so much on that day, but can you guess what was missing? On day four, God put the sun in the sky to warm the earth. He saw that the night was very dark, so God put the moon and the stars in the sky. Then God made spring, summer, fall, and winter. All that he made was good. Next, God made flippy, flappy, fun things. Let's see what they were. On day five, God made starfishes, octopuses, whales, and turtles. He made fast little fish for rivers and slippery big fish for the ocean. He made big birds like eagles to soar in the sky and zippy little birds like hummingbirds. He made birds in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Which bird do you think is the prettiest? Which is the strongest? On day six, God made the animals. Puppies, cows, horses, kitties, bears, lizards, mice, worms, and lots more. Everything was good. But something was still missing. There were no people. So God made some. And when he made them, he made them like himself. He made them so that they could be friends with him. Where do you think the first people lived? God named the first man Adam. God put Adam in a beautiful garden. He gave him all the animals. He gave them all the fish and the birds too. Then God gave Adam one more thing. God made a woman to be Adam's wife. Adam named his wife Eve. On day seven, God rested from all his work. Uh-oh, something bad was about to happen on the earth. God gave Adam and Eve one rule. Eat anything you like except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. A sneaky old snake came to Eve. Eat it, then you'll know everything, just like God. So Eve ate the fruit and gave some to Adam, and he ate it too. When we disobey God, it's called sin. There are always consequences when we disobey. One evening, God came to visit Adam and Eve, but they were hiding. When God found them, he asked, What have you done? Adam told God everything. God was sad. Because they had disobeyed God, Adam and Eve had to leave the beautiful garden. When they were outside of the garden, Adam and Eve had to work very hard to grow food. It makes God very sad when we disobey. It makes our parents sad too.